Hello everybody. Our next camera is a Miopta Malona. It was made in 1952. My brother scored this for me off of the Seattle Craigslist. And then I was going to pay him back. He gave it to me for my birthday. So thanks Steve. That's awesome. Uh, Miopta is better known for their Flexoret line of TLRs. Uh, this thing has a little bit in common with them. The company was formed uh, as Opti Optico Technica in Prerov, uh, Czechoslovakia. I do not speak Czech, so I'll probably mangle a lot of these names. Uh, anyway, they were formed in 1933. Then in World War II, uh, they were occupied by the German Army. They had to make military optics for them. In 1946, after uh, World War II, uh, they were nationalized and renamed uh, to MIOPTA. It's a, not really an acronym, but a contraction of Mechanica Optica Vroba, uh, the Mechanical Optical Manufacturing Company. It takes uh, six by six frames on 120 film. Uh, there was a Malona 2 uh, that had a selector. You could do uh, 6 by 45 centimeter or 6 by 6. Uh, sorry for the background noise. My neighbor's mowing. It's February. I have no idea what he's mowing. Uh, anyway, that one also had a tilting uh, lens board. So you could do, uh, you know, parallax correction, things like that for architectural uh, photography. It has an 80 millimeter mirror lens. Uh, it's kind of hard to find information on it. It is definitely coded. Um, it's three or four elements. I'm really not sure which, and I haven't been able to get a good reflection off of it to figure it out yet. Uh, it goes from f4.5 to f22. This one is in a Compure Rapid Shutter. It goes from one second to a five hundredth of a second plus bulb. Uh, doing research on this guy, some of the pictures I've seen online, they might have a Prontor S or a V-E-B-U-R v -E -B -U -R shutter. Um, it's fairly simple, but it's really nice, sturdy. This one's in awesome shape. It even has a really good condition leather case. Um, it's got a normal uh, window for looking at the frames. It's yellow instead of red. And it's got this uh, nifty cover on it so you don't get light uh, shining through the backing paper. For a viewfinder, um, it has this sport style thing that uh, folds down when you're not using it. That's it, so I've been just kind of eyeballing it uh, to frame my pictures. I'll use this occasionally. Another cool feature down here on the tripod socket, it's got this little foot. So using uh, the base here, it'll, it'll sit nice and level. That's good because the tripod socket is bigger uh, than a standard uh, 20 threads per inch quarter inch uh, diameter. It's a little bigger and the one that uh, holds the leather case on it's the same size. I don't have an adapter. I'm going to have to get one though. I had a blast shooting with this. The shutter's in really good shape. The thing is super super clean and I get some really nice shots. Um, I use some Kodak uh, Portra, it's uh, ISO 160 film. I'm going to load some black and white in it and I'll see you then.